Luisa Gerlof Sanza, born July 18, 1998, is a Brazilian singer-songwriter. She rose to fame in 2014 singing cover songs on YouTube, where she gained notoriety. After signing with Universal Music Group, she recorded an extended play titled Pandora, 2018. Three years later, she released her debut album Doce 22, 2021. The year also saw her being featured on a remix of Katy Perry's Cry About It Later, along with Bruno Martini. In 2023, she released a Scandalo Intimo, which features a collaboration with Demi Lovato on the song Penhasco 2. Sansa has appeared as an actress on several television episodes, and with Pablo Vitter, she co-hosts the HBO Max show Queen Stars. Career Sansa began singing at a gaucho folklore community center in her hometown at the age of seven. She was hired as a child singer by music group Solmeyer, staying with them for 10 years. Sansa would appear in a total of up to 24 concerts a month, with approximately 5,000 attending each time. In 2014, she launched a cover song YouTube channel, which made her gain online visibility. She became known then as Queen of Covers. Sansa signed with Universal Music in May 2017, with her first single, Good Vibes, being then released by in July. She released her second single, Alhas Castanjos, Brown Eyes, a song she wrote for then-husband Winderson Nunes by in October the same year. She released her first, self-titled EP with track Neo Preciso de Voce Piare Nada, There Is Nothing I Need You For, featuring Brazilian singer Luan Santana. In January 2018, Sansa released the song Rebowler, Twerking, from her first EP as a single. The video peaked first on YouTube.in March, Rebowler, Remix, with five remix tracks of the song was released as an EP. In June 2018, Sansa made a special guest appearance in an episode of Brazilian TV sitcom DRA. Darcy, Dr. Darcy, in which she played Julian Ha Did I End July, she released Eva Garinho, Step by Step, which made it to Spotify's Brazil Top 50 chart. In October 2018, Sansa was invited by soap opera writer Aguinaldo Silva to record Nunca Foi Sort, It Was Never By Chance, a song written by Silva, for the soundtrack of TV Globo's telenovela O Sétimo Guardio. She also made a special guest appearance in one of the episodes. Later that year, Sansa released the song as a single and music video. In November 2018, Sansa released the single Boa Menina, Good Girl. In February 2019, a foro version of the song was used in a video featuring Winderson Nunes. In March 2019, she released Pyre K. Pasa Imaginer, Worse Than You Can Imagine. Later that year, Sansa released her first album, Pandora. 2020, Present, Doce 22, and a Scandalo Intimo. In June 2020, Sansa gave a performance in the online version of the NYC Pride March. In June 2021, Sansa announced a career break after attacks received on social media and next month, she returned to the networks to announce the release of her second studio album, Doce 22, which was released on July 18, the day she turned 23. The songs VIP and Melhor Sozinha were released as singles on the same day. The track Tembam Neose de Nada, featuring Lulu Santos, was made available as a single at the time of the album's release. To promote the album, the artist appeared on the program Prazer, Luisa, aired on Multishow in five episodes from 7 July 2021 to the end May 2022. It was announced that Sansa had signed a recording contract with Sony Music Brazil, valued at 20 million US dollars, about 100 million Brazilian reals at the time, with the aim of investing in an international career. In a press conference, held on July 18, 2022, Sansa announced the production of her third studio album, which will address a more mature and sober version of her life. For the year 2023. On April 11, Netflix Brazil announced the recording of a documentary series, with Sansa, which will present her trajectory and personal life along with the background of her new project. On August 9, the singer's social networks confirmed the release of her new album, entitled A Scandalo Intimo, for the 29th of the same month. Personal life. In August 2016, YouTuber Winderson Nunes asked Luisa to be his girlfriend. At in March 2017, they got engaged. At in February 2018, they married in a civil and religious ceremony for 350 guests in Alagoas, Brazil. On April 29, 2020, through a post on Instagram, Winderson announced his divorce, claiming that Luisa and he had grown apart but remained good friends. 
In an interview, Sansa said she is too conscious of her own body to have biological children and intends to adopt instead. Sansa is of Italian and German descent, she is openly bisexual. Views on Women's Empowerment and Toxic Masculinity Matea Sansa received criticism alleging she had married for money and responded by saying she made as much money as her former husband Winderson Nunes did. She once thought being a victim of machismo was a woman's fault, but realized no matter what she did, she would be a victim anyway. I had two options, either understand a sick social structure or become sick myself, they're using the structure to talk about women, to place them in an undeserving position, of being less smart and incomplete without a man just like they did to my mum, my grandma, my aunt, she said. She holds no hard feelings towards trolls harassing her online. Before deconstructing other people, I have to deconstruct myself. As to marriage, Sansa states, it is not women's duty to do anything or be anything. It is not our duty to be a mother or get married. Unless you want to, I'm against women letting go of their dreams to fulfill someone else's dreams. In September 2020, after protests by Anita and Sansa, Oxford Languages decided to reassess the definitions of Portuguese words patroa, honor or boss, in the feminine gender, professora, teacher, in the feminine gender, and mulher soltera, single woman, appearing in Google's definitional search, which until then were related to misogynistic definitions such as housewife, patroa, and prostitute, professora and mulher soltera. Both Google and Oxford Languages issued press releases stating that they would either revise the definitions or remove the item if it no longer reflected the modern usage of Portuguese language by Brazilian speakers. Racism Case In 2018, Luisa was accused of racism and sued for moral damages by black lawyer Isabel Macedo de Jesus. According to the case file, Macedo was celebrating her birthday on September 22, 2018 at an inn in Fernando de Narona, on the same day that Luisa Sanza gave a presentation at a gastronomy festival. While heading to the bathroom, Macedo passed by Sanza, at which point the singer would have slapped Isabel on the arm and ordered her to bring her a glass of water, thinking that the lawyer was a waitress. Not understanding the reason for the approach, Isabel asked the singer to repeat it, at which point Luisa, in a harsh tone, again ordered Isabel to fetch a glass of water for her, because she was thirsty. At this point the case files stated that Macedo, terrified, informed Sansa that she was a customer and not an employee, as if it were not credible that a black woman could be in that restaurant as a customer, the case file also states that employees at the establishment would all be in uniform. Macedo then questioned Sansa why she believed that she was an employee, which she alleged that Luisa dodged answering. Macedo requested compensatory damages of 10,000 Brazilian reals for Luisa and for the inn, as well as public retraction and the posting of informational posters about the prohibition of racist practices around the restaurant as an educational measure. In September 2020, Luisa denied the allegations on Twitter, telling people not to believe the story. The case gained renewed attention in September 2022 when presenter Danilo Gentili accused the press and gossip sites of respectively purposely ignoring and defending the event. A month later, on October 5, 2022, Luisa publicly apologized to Isabel Macedo de Jesus. The way I addressed Mrs. Isabel translated into an act of reproduction of structural racism, which was in no way my intention, wrote the singer on Twitter. The singer also announced that she would accept the requests made by Isabel in the process and that she would seek to reach an agreement with her. Luisa also spoke on her Instagram, apologizing to Isabel and to those who felt offended by the case.